training in judo when I was six years old and I competed a lot, got my black belt, I think I was 16 or 17, but I represented um, Team GB for five or six years um, at the under 18s and under 20s. I went to Junior World Championships, Junior Europeans. I just started burning out when I got a little bit older. I just, eventually I was just starting to get sick of it really. Um, I think I just did too much, dedicated to myself too much. And um, one of my friends was doing a little bit of training um, in just general martial arts and his coach did some Jiu Jitsu and MMA and we watched a few DVDs, a few old uh, DVDs and it was pretty cool and um, went to a, uh, an open event one day and I ended up just randomly entering a grappling competition. Um, from there I, I got through to the semi-finals and I lost, uh, in the semi-finals I lost to uh, uh, Mark Goddard who's now a UFC referee and he went and ended up fighting Jeff Monson in the final so my, when I was like 16, 17 I got like one fight away from that, that would have been a pretty cool story. But it's, um, and then after I really enjoyed it so me and uh, my brother just sort of thought oh, I'll just have some a fight so I had a few amateur fights and I had six amateur fights and I won most of them and I got a couple of draws um, and then obviously because I wasn't trained in MMA I was still just doing judo I was just like oh I'll just take a take a fight on a show and I fought on a show ended up getting uh, had a good fight I mounted the guy but the rules of the show didn't allow punches to the head so I missed the submission ended up standing up again and got caught uh, knocked down it was the first time I'd really been rocked in my life, so I was like, oh shit, what's happening? Ended up getting stopped. Um, so after that, I don't like to lose. I hate losing. So I um, started, went to a gym, started training bits and bobs, and eventually they sort of said to me, look, if you want to fight, I want you ready to fight. You've got to take it seriously. So I put more and more time into it, more and more effort, and uh, kind of went from there. Got my first fight with them, and just kind of went through my first few opponents and went from there. It was uh, fun. The nickname He-Man comes from the fact that when I'm training, my hair grows out into kind of a He-Man bowl cut, like this. Um, and for a heavyweight, I'm in relatively good shape. Um, and um, a few people just sort of started calling me He-Man. Me and my brother used to do judo. My brother still does judo. He um, uh, represented um, Team GB at uh, London 2012 Olympics, um, and he's you know he's been a, a, an international world ranked judo player for I don't know how many years, ten plus years. He's he's in in the world of judo. He's up there. He's, he's pretty incredible. Like when I train wrestling or grappling with him, he's just it's like trying to, it's, he's just like fighting a wall, you know, you just don't move and he's so, he's, he's a beast at judo and occasionally I used to go up to some of his training centers, train with some of his other mates and they are monsters. 